Oh, she's so cute. She's so cute. Oh, I just want to... I just want to pet her. Oh, she's so, so ah! cute. Making the mother of all omelets here, Jack. Can't spread over every egg. Greetings and salutations, everyone. This is No Code Gaming. And I'd like to welcome you back to another Master Duel video. And of course, another Dragon Maid video. And with the release of the Dragon Maid to order um, structure deck, I feel like it is a um, appropriate time to update my Dragon Maid video. So with Dragon Maid to order, I highly suggest that you buy three copies of it, considering you get Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon, a copy of each of the high level Dragon Maids, and a copy of each of the low level Dragon Maids as well as a copy of Shio, House, and Spears. If you buy this structure deck three times, you have a very, very solid base for making Dragon Maid. Now, how would I go about making Dragon Maids uh, from this into a somewhat competitive deck? Well, let's uh, go to the Small World Dragon Maid, shall we? And here we are with Small World Dragon Mate. As you can see, uh, it has three of uh, Parlor, three of Chamber, three Shio, and two House, as well as two Seal of the Heavenly Spheres. Basically, this deck can be built with some investment. If you want to reduce the amount of URs that you spend, uh, here is the bare minimum for this deck. And here are the cards that are included in the Dragon Maid to Order Structure deck. Let's just take a quick look at rarities. As you can see, um, you get quite a few SRs as well as a few uh, Ultra Rares from the uh, Dragon Maid deck. So like I said, I highly suggest you uh, getting it as it gives you quite a few good cards. Now, back to the deck proper. Why is it called Small World Dragon Maid? Well, with the release of the um, Wandering Travelers Selection Pack, we were able to get uh, the addition of Small World to the card pool in Master Duel. Now, what does Small World do? Well, it allows us to more consistently get our one card combos in our opening hand. Our one card combos center around either Parlor or a chamber being in our opening hand. Now, how does Small World work? Well, when you activate it, you have to reveal one monster in your hand, then reveal a monster from your deck, and then reveal another monster from your deck. The third monster that is revealed will be added to your hand. However, there are limitations to it. So, let's uh, randomly pick one of our um, going second cards that we might open if we are going first. Let's say Effect Veiler. Now, the aspects of Effect Veiler. It is a light monster. It is level one. It has zero attack and zero defense. From there, we need to reveal a monster from our deck that is at least a light, a level one, has zero attack or has zero defense, but only one of these, or it is a spellcaster. So from Effect Veiler, we can reveal Ash Blossom from our deck. And then once more, you have to reveal a fire type or a level three or a zombie or a card with zero attack or a card with 1800 defense. And what cards can we reveal? Well, parlor is a level three and that's the only thing that matches since it's a dragon, has 500 attack, has 1700 defense and is a wind. So the level three matches, so you can go get parlor from your deck. Alternatively, we can get Chamber. As you can see, Chamber is a Dark, doesn't match with a Fire. Level 4, doesn't match with a level 3. Dragon, doesn't match with the Zombie type of Ash Blossom. Has 500 attack, so it doesn't match the attack of Ash Blossom. However, it does have 1800 defense, which matches Ash Blossom. So, if you're able to reveal Ash Blossom as the second card, you can go into either of our one card starters. Now, what happens if we don't open Effect Veiler, but open cards like uh, Phantasmi or Noctovision? Uh, same thing. Zero attack, zero attack, bada bing bada boom. 1800 defense, 1800 defense. Basically, your goal is to have a card that's level 3, 
has a zero attack or has 1800 defense, which these three cover. Now, one thing I want to warn you about using Small World, the first two cards will be banished face down uh, from your deck and your hand. So cards that you would avoid for the first and second should be Nurse Dragon Maid. You do not want your Nurse Dragon Maid banished. It is there to help recur cards and is a staple in Dragon Maids. Now for hand traps and going second cards. We have Effect Veiler to negate a face-up uh, card effect. Same thing with the two infinite permanences. Ash Blossom to negate searching. Ghost Spell and Haunted Mansion to help negate cards like uh, Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer. As well as we also have, um, let's see here, Lightning Storm. Lightning Storm. You've probably encountered it by now. Or Cold by the Grave. Again, tech cards. And of course, Harpy's Feather Duster and the Biru as ways to um, get rid of more either back row in the case of Harpy's Feather Duster or uh, summon spam in the case of Nibiru. The extra deck. I've chosen to include Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer as it is a straight up just a broken card if you're able to get two effect monsters which Dragon Maids is very much able to do on their first turn. House and Shio are the ace monsters for Dragon Maids. They're an auto include if you are playing Dragon Maids. Striker is here as an extender. Um, Heretic Seal of the Heavenly Spheres is here as one of your um, combo finishers. Or you can also go IP Mascarina is also here. Urte Anaconda is here to help summon um, Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer. Nightmare Unicorn is here as a bounce. Oral Load is a good target to summon off of IP Mascarina. Same thing with Appaloosa. And Underworld Goddess of the Closed World works as a pseudo kaiju. Now, there will be a subset of you who have not played Dragon Maids. So, let's quickly show you the one card combo. And here I can show you how Small World works in the game. So, ignoring that we have the Chamber Dragon Maid. Let's get um, a parlor in hand, shall we? We'll activate small world. And then, of course, we will show our ghost bell. Level 3, 0 attack, 800 defense, and a zombie. As well as an earth. So then it will narrow down which cards we can reveal. Okay, let's see here. I want to end up in parlor, so we are not picking parlor. Instead, we will pick a card like Noctovision. And then from Noctovision, we can go into Parlor. It's always going to be Ash Blossom or Ghost Bell into Nocturne or uh, Phantasmi. Alternatively, it can be Nocturne Phantasmi into Ghost Bell or Ash Blossom into Parlor or Chamber. Basically, your goal is to end with a Parlor or Chamber in your opening hand. Now, let's show the one card combo. We normal summon our parlor. And then we will send a tidying. We will link away our parlor. Note that this is what will normally happen if you go first. I don't advise doing this going second. Summon striker. Give a tidying. The banish, and then we will special summon back our parlor. There, and that is our one card combo to go into Heavenly Spheres. The point of Heavenly Spheres, of course, is to bounce a card on the field back uh, to hand, as well as tribute itself to summon a, a Dragon Maid Nurse. However, since we are going first, that's not really viable. So in this case, we'll just summon Nurse. I'm oh, sorry. So in this case, we'll uh, sp we'll discard Ernest, especially summon the chamber, and get a Dragon Maid changeover. Why a changeover? Because Dragon Maids have the unique ability of transforming into their big parts. <laughs> Let me rephrase that. Because Dragon Maids have the ability to transform into their bigger forms during battle. 
So there goes. And that's a Raigeki break. Gosh darn. You can go with Heretic Seal, but we'll just end the turn there. So this is basically what you would end up with. Oh, right. Most important lesson. Set this to on. Having toggle on is very important. Okay, at the start of the battle phase, you want to activate it. You know it's the start because it has the S here. So we'll activate it. We'll tribute the spheres itself. Bounce back arm dragon level 5. And then we will special summon the nurse from deck. Activate the nurse's effect. Get the parlor. Parlor. We'll then send a level 8 dragon. The reason why I want to send a level 8 dragon is so both of these can tag out and go to my hand. Because it's still the start of the battle phase, their abilities will still technically activate. So there, I technically gained two cards from bouncing um, Heavenly Spheres. Then we'll just go like this. I want to keep the nurse in hand. Okay, let's get to it. So now we'll summon the ace monster using Dragon Maid Changeover. Of course, we'll go parlor. And Tink Heck. The play there would probably have been to use Chamber. But that's neither here nor there. We'll go Nurse. Peg out Nurse in Parlor. And then just for the sake of being safe, I recommend you send a Tidying to Grave in case uh, Shio gets destroyed for whatever reason. We'll now go into battle phase and activate our monsters. Of course, because they're in the graveyard, they get recycled. This is the potency of Dragon Maids. You're able to um, outground your opponent. So if your opponent can't finish you off quickly, they're in for a lot of trouble. And we can main phase two. If you wish, you can actually link these two away to end with a uh, DPE. I just have a ton of card advantage. That's what makes this deck so potent. Being able to go from like having a single card in the field to swarming it because you tributed your heavenly spheres. And of course, Shio's effect activates, and we can go with Parlor. However, uh, Nurse is also valid. Same thing with Chamber. Most of these aren't very good, so we'll go Chamber, activate Chamber, and get Hospitality. We don't want it getting stronger things. We'll just end it here.
and we'll just clear the fields. Battle, and that's that's my favorite thing about the new uh, dual mate. He transforms. And that is Dragon Maids. And there you have it. That was Small World Dragon Maid. Um, if you do not feel like running Small World and still wish to play Dragon Maids, I would recommend replacing the Small Worlds with uh, Maxis or with um, other draw cards like uh, Pot of Prosperity or Pot of um, Desires. However, I recommend this version a little bit more as you can more consistently get into your one card combos. And concerning the one card combos, you don't have to end in spheres all the time. If you so desire, you can end up with Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer by instead linking into Verte Anaconda, activating its effect, sending Fusion Destiny, and special summoning a Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer from your extra deck. The goal is about the same, disrupting your opponent uh, as a way to semi-negate. However, the reason I prefer um, Seal of the Heavenly Spheres is you can technically get a lot more value on your opponent's turn as Spheres can go into Nurse Dragon Maid. And Spheres can also get around Skill Drain as the tributing of it is um, part of the cost, not its effect. So it can get around Skill Drain or Monarchs Erupt or even um, the new Flow Wonderies cards. Again, it's up to you how you want to um, play with uh, Heavenly Spears. The other things that you can do to tweak this deck is you can actually remove the DPE engine and instead put in Super Polymerization and Starving Venom Fusion Dragon as a way to get rid of your opponent's Dark Monster. However, with the rise of Flow Wonderies and the rise of Adventure Tokens, um, I can see this strategy maybe being viable with Phantom Knights, but not so much against fighting Prank Kids or um, the new Flow Wonderies cards as they I'm pretty sure do not run any dark monsters. So again, this deck is sort of built for that. Um, you can play with the extra deck, however. You can replace your um, IP Mascarina, Appaloosa, and Oral Sword Dragon with uh, different finishers like Access Code Talker, or you can run a Twin Triangle Dragon in your extra deck. This way, you have a way to summon a um, Nightmare Unicorn, as Twin Triangle Dragon allows you to special summon a uh, a higher level dragon from your graveyard back to the field. You now have the three cards required to link into Nightmare Unicorn to bounce a card field to deck. As usual, feel free to change the tech options as you so wish. And um, yeah, I hope you have fun playing Dragon Maids in this world of adventure tokens and flow wonderies that we uh, find ourselves in. And as always, like if you like the video, subscribe if you so desire, and have a great rest of your day. The deck list, if you want to uh, try this deck out, is in the description below. I have marked the cards I find essential to small world Dragon Maids. So feel free to change the um, non-marked cards as you so wish. Have fun.